Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I uh, I actually did. I've been in this uh, addictive state of mind where I have uh, been uh, looking at a TV series. I do that sometimes when I like. I can't stop. It's like you know, just one more episode, just one more. And it's uh, yeah, it's like a bender, but it's uh, it's like a TV series bender, and. Um, <laughs> I've been in one of those and finally yesterday I finished the TV series and it's such a relief. I feel like I, I'm out of like, um, yeah, very bad habits. <laughs> and it's also a huge day because I'm like, uh, things are falling into place. Like I just uh, signed an apartment. Uh, so now I really can live in between Stockholm and Biarritz. I have one place in each town and um, it's just happiness pure happiness and and um, and my website is out on marlingyoga.com so uh, everything is uh, quite amazing and um, the weather is beautiful and um, yeah petite a petite as they say here in France little by little Things are falling into place finally, and um, and I feel very relieved about that. Uh, I also feel um, very privileged in having the life I have, and uh, the friends I have, and um, yeah, having this life. And 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 um, <laughs> it's just on the on the phone with with my best friend who um, gave birth to. Um, to her her second son and then he was uh, early um it's like five weeks early and uh, it's a very critical state for a baby you know and and she has been in this um, intensive care for for a while and uh, and um, he's healthy and then he's growing and then everything is fine and, and apparently he ha he's not sick so, so she, she has the most positive view of life um, from all the people I know, she she always finds the good thing in everything, and she was like, "Yeah, so I was so privileged, you know, because I he's, he's not sick, and and she's been in intensive care, and you know, she just gave birth, and a lot of people would feel that they're victims, you know, because they have their baby too early, or or you know, because they're sick, or because they're homeless for a while, or." or but she inspires me to always look on the bright side. Like for for now, you know, I'm actually homeless in France, but I'm not because one of my best friends like let her stay, let me stay in her apartment. Like there's always, you know, a beautiful angle, and and for me, what that means is that it's love. You know, like I have someone here that cares enough for me to 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 let me stay in their home, and. Um, it's just so very beautiful and all of us has some of that and I think that if we are, are generous people and, and we focus on what we can, can give to the world, things come to us. It's when we forget that and just, you know, like try to get as much as possible and try to like, oh, me, me, I'm gonna get there. We lose the beauty of life because what life is about is not about taking, it's, a, it's about giving and um, and then if you receive things from that, you can be thankful for that, for everything you get. And, and it's just so much more beautiful than, than demanding and craving and wanting things. <sighs> yeah. Today I feel extremely, extremely um, thankful for, for things in my life and, and maybe I'm fortunate enough to, for the first time in my life, having to have worked very hard for something. Like, I, I am the youngest in my family, and I was a very spoiled girl, uh, and I'm Swedish, and you know, I am. Um, I've been fortunate, but with that, you know, comes. A responsibility to, to to do the best of of what you are given and um, 
I feel like I'm stepping up to do that now. Thanks to you guys. You inspire me to do that. And the thanks for the fantastic words you're, you're giving me, you know, you're really ins inspiring me to, to, to go on and to continue with this. So at least from the 1st of October, I'm going to try to do uh, one a day again. But before that, uh, I'm traveling a lot and it's going to be a bit messy. So um, I can't promise you I'm going to upload one class a day, but uh, I'm going to try. <laughs> okay. We're going to start with a fire breathing to wake our bodies up from the inside. And what we do is we push the belly button towards the spine, quick and fast for 200 breaths. So inhale to start. Beautiful. We're gonna find a, a, um, a deeper breath on the inhalation. Feel how your belly is expanding, and on the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. On the next inhalation, we're gonna roll forward. On the exhalation, back. We're going to place our hands on our shoulders and on the inhalation we're going to roll over to the right side. And on the exhalation, come to the middle. On the inhalation, come to the other side. Beautiful, we stop here. On the next inhalation, we come down with the left elbow and up with the right. On the exhalation, we come to the middle. Inhale. And exhale.
I'm going to come to all our choice and I'm going to do the cat and cow. So place your hands straight underneath your shoulders, place your knees straight underneath your hips, and on the inhalation, come forward with the belly halfway up to the ceiling. And on the exhalation, come From here, we're gonna come down and we're gonna sit on our heels. I've been requested to do this one, and I, I very rarely do it because I think it's so uncomfortable. But what we're gonna do is that we're gonna stretch this ankle here. So what we're gonna work with is our root and the, and the, like all the, the locks to put the, the weight on our heels. And for me, I mean, it's not much of a stretch. But I'm gonna look into this more and really like see how, how you do this stretch properly. Um, but yeah, just like this. our toes and do the same and this is one of the most uncomfortable stretches I know. Work with your root block coming in front. uncomfortable. Now we're going to do an, an, a hip opener. So we can put our um, right knee in front of our left knee and then we're going to come down here and if possible we sit between our legs and I can't do it more than this and this is very uncomfortable for me. Just breathe here. Two more breaths. Oh, I come up. Ah, that's awful. <laughs> I hate that. We're gonna do the same on the other side. And it's so funny because people who don't have locked hips, they're like, what are you even talking about? And that's the thing with yoga. We all have different difficulties. And we're gonna come up with our, our legs and uh, we're gonna start with a twist and then we're gonna do another exercise. So on the inhalation we come down with our knees to the left and we look over our right shoulders. 
on the exhalation we come to the middle. Inhale and we go. Just continue and follow your breath. We're gonna place our arms alongside our body and we're gonna work for the lower back. So we're gonna have a 90 degrees angle in our legs and on the inhalation we come up. No, on the exhalation. On the inhalation we come down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Stop. And that's gonna be it for today. Time flies really when you're having fun, it goes so quickly. So grab your butt and get down on your sitting bone, straighten your back up, close your eyes, and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. And let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're gonna spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this moment. Place our palms together in front of our 
apart and then we're gonna inhale and uh, finish the class together with Sri Shanti on the other side. Shanti your palms your forehead with your finger thoughts through the day to your mouth for you to speak the truth and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people namaste thank you i love you guys you're the best i'll see you soon again bye